Welcome back. I hope you enjoyed seeing the story in a different way. We learned that the disciples all received the Holy Spirit when they were together. It appeared like a rushing wind and tongues of fire on their head. Now that doesn't happen for us in these days. But if we have asked Jesus into our hearts, we too have received the Holy Spirit. Once the disciples received the Holy Spirit, they spoke to, about Jesus to everyone in ways that they could understand. They met together and they praised God together. They learned about Jesus together. They looked after one another and they looked after the poor and the needy. They shared with each other. They spoke about Jesus together. All of these things should give us clues on how that we should behave and how we should be changed by the Spirit living within us. So how do we learn what pleases God and how we live for him? Well, to become more like someone, you need to spend time with them. We want to spend time with God as Christians. We want to spend time in his presence. Now we can do that through talking to him. We talk to God through prayer. We don't have to use fancy words. We can simply speak to him. In our house, we always thank God before we have our food. And we try to remember to always pray before we go to sleep at night. We can talk to God at any time of the day, but it's helpful for us in our house to have these set times where we speak to God so that we remember him in everything that we're doing. We can spend time getting to know God through reading our Bibles. That helps us to get to know what he's like. God speaks to us through his words and helps us to learn more about him. If we read our Bibles every day, that's why our church services and Sunday school are so important because they help teach us to be more like Jesus. In Sunday school, we've learned about the commandments, the best way to live. We've learned about the fruit of the Spirit before. These passages in the Bible help us to understand what God is like and how we can be like Jesus in our Christian lives. Just below, you'll find the fruit of the Spirit songs that we enjoyed so much this year. If you're at home, I want you to sing out loud. And if you're in church today, you can do the actions for the fruit and dance around for the chorus. Remember, the fruit of the Spirit is not a coconut.